Hey guys, so the beauty of DeFi is that you can compose something different, unique from existing protocols like um, Uniswap, Compound, Yen Finance, Synthetics, and the list is endless. Uh, so you can do interesting things like take a flash loan from Harv and um, deposit into Synthetics and then using um, protocols like Curve or Uniswap to swap some of your assets into another asset, uh, etc. But often you find out that when you need to write smart contracts that interact with some of these projects to build maybe your own projects, you often want to test your code with their real contracts as deployed on the mainnet, right? And that's where Hadat comes in. Hadat allows you to create local forks of um, existing networks, right? That simulates the network at a particular state, maybe at a particular block block right so for example you can fork the ethereum mainnet and it will give you access to the uniswap router as deployed on the ethereum mainnet and it will give you access to work with that router exactly as if you're interacting with the uniswap router on the mainnet so when you call the uniswap router swap function on your fork of the mainnet, you can test and be sure that your swap will work the exact way it will work as if you deployed your contract to mainnet. And you'll be able to do this locally, paying um, just testnet fees or your local net fees. And then you can test um, with different um, protocols that way. So how can we do this? Um, and what do you need to do this? Let's look at this. You need add that. Um, you need an archival node. Um, so Infura will no default Infura will not work in this case because um, Infura, except you had the archival add on, it, it won't it won't work. So um, I suggest you use Alchemy or any other um, node that allows for archival, right? And then of course you need add that your add that project setup. Um, so to set up your hard art, I prefer using TypeScript, right? Um, you could install and um, start a new project with your NPM and then set up hard art and all that. Uh, or you could just use a starter kit like I will advise. So for this project, I'm going to use this starter kit. It's, it's set up with hard art and TypeScript already. So all I just have to do is install the packages and I'm good to go. So to do that, all I need to do is clone the repository and then go somewhere on my system to set it up. All right. So here's um, the, the repository. I've, I've, I've cloned the repository, the starter kit. And um, the first thing you need to do is to run npm install. Um, I already have run that, so this one need, I don't need to do this all over again. But just so you know, that's the first thing that you need to do, right? Um, so while that is working, I'm going to go to the code. So, um, of course, as usual with your ADAT project, you, you have um, the ADAT config file and where you can specify different configurations. I'm going to change this to 8.8. Um, 8 just so I can take advantage of some 8.8 features and then I'm going to go change this to 8.8 .8 also all right so ADAT will know to download the Solidity compiler for 08.8 .8. right and then um, so there are two ways uh, while we wait for that to complete there are two ways that you can um, There are two ways you could fork the mainnet. One of it, okay, all right. So I'm going to go ahead to test this. Uh, of course, there's a readme in this repo that just shows you how to, to run this. So you could easily um, check if add at is running um, by running npx add at node, which gives you a node 
a, um, a local instance of the ADAT that you can connect different things to. So again, if you are testing um, a front end with your project, um, this is a good way to run because once you run this, it, it creates a local, ins local instance of, of your network that you can connect to from a front end from the browser and you can set it up in your MetaMask and then get all the, um, your DAP to connect to it. Right. So we wait for that to, to start. Okay, great. So all that is working and um, you can see the node running here. So this node is usually running at port 8545. So if you want to connect your MetaMask to this, for example, you could just copy this URL and add it as your RPC URL, right? And then you could add any of these um, accounts to the MetaMask, right? Okay, so now that it's running, I'm going to stop this. Right, so what we want is to, um, when, when this other node runs, um, we want it to run with um, fucking a particular mainnet account. So how do we do that? One way we could do that is um, by running the same npx add that node and then specifying a fork with the fork switch. Right? Now, um, you're going to need an archival node for this to run. So, um, easy way to do this is to you know, just use um, maybe a node that you've set up on Alchemy. So I'm going to go to my so I'm going to go to my Alchemy node, right? I'm going to go to my Alchemy and copy Okay, so I'm going to go to my Alchemy, Alchemy node um, and then I'll just copy this. And that's what I'm going to go paste here. And that's it. Run this. And as you can see, this is already running. Now, this is running with a fork of the mainnet. So if you Whatever you do right now, um, you can now talk. All you need to do is get the addresses of the contracts that you want to interact with, and you'll be able to interact with them the way you want. So that's one way you can fuck the mainnet. All you need to do is run this MPX add that node, and then specify the fork, right? Now, boy, you are going to find often that this is, um, while this is a good way to fork it, sometimes you need to specify a block number. Why? Because you need your test. For example, if you are going to run a test um, against this, you, you need your test to run consistently. You need to be sure it's running on the same block number and everything. So there's a way you can specify the block number and everything. Now, because you want the same, you want to, 
have a consistent environment every time you test. Another way you can fork the main net is by specifying the fork parameters in your ADAT config, right? So all you need to do is come to your ADAT config. Now once you have your ADAT config, you the option is called forking. And then you specify the URL. Now I'm going to use the same URL I used to fork the node earlier. And then I'm, it's a, how that allows you to specify a block number also. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to Etherscan and get a block number. Okay, so these are some blocks. One, five, I'll just copy this. Got that all right so we are good now anytime you run the node it's going to apply this um, fork this to your forking so the block number is going to run against this block number every time you start the node right so you can be sure that this test your test will run consistently right so I'm just going to go ahead and um, start the node this time around, I won't specify the switch any longer. So the node is running, right? And um, if you run contracts against the um, Uniswap's router, for example, you will see that it works. Um, you just need to get the router address from the mainnet. All right. So that will be all for today. Thank you.